Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood Magic. This episode we're going to have a look at the incense altar. But first, in my uh, right hand I've got a Seer's Sigil. And what that does is quite neat actually, let's have a look at what that does. So when you point this to the altar, you can see now from uh, the One Pro add-ons how much LP we've got in the network. On the bottom left hand side you can see a little bit more information that we didn't get before. I'm not sure exactly what it means. <laughs> I think the top one is showing you how much blood's in the altar at this time. And of course, we've just about filled up the network. So as soon as the network's filled up, um, that one of those starts to fill up. And I think the second one also is the progress. That's right. So that's showing the progress of whatever we're making at the moment. Uh, as you can see, it's now, the, now we've got our 100, 1 million LP and what I've done is I've turned the water on because I've got a witch at the back here she's pinned in um, and can't escape and she's been labelled and she's been labelled so she's not going to she'll throw things at me if she sees me even from back here so I'm probably going to avoid her but uh, she's providing LP for this for this system up here well basically she's providing um, blood for this thing because this is attacking the mobs isn't it right so let's get on and go to the other base and i'll see you as we approach so you can see my fake village up here as well if you put the bounty box um reloaded on it you'll see i press b and it turns it on you can see there's a village there so we'll have a look at that in a second because that's a useful way of getting um well actually what i needed was ender pearls and i needed ender pearls because we only want to do some teleportation stuff so let's have a look at that over there first of all you see we've got about various various villages this one's quite a good one actually it's cleric so he's giving me emeralds for 38 um rotting flesh and of course there's not much use for rotting oh this one's now finished him off <laughs> so to speak so that's away so we can actually use this one and uh, so they're actually breeding as well because they happen to be here and there's one that's escaped he bred and he um so we can use four emeralds for getting that and now i seem to get some more emeralds so in order to unlock this trade let's just get one of lap lapis and that'll probably make him unlock the trade anyway i think there we go so, so he's unlocked he's unlocked rotting flesh again so let's get some more frosting let's get some more emeralds from him cool Right, now I can do it, yeah. I can't shift click them into that. It'd be nice if I could shift click them into right. So give me another four emeralds so I can then get some more ender pearls. This guy's actually cheaper for ender pearls than the other, other cleric. So I've got two clerics. Like that. And that might unlock the trade again as well. So here we go. He's He's regathered some health and he's unlocked this trade. So I'm just going to get rid of some more of this rotting flesh because it's a right nuisance. But we're getting plenty of rotting flesh, of course, from the mob spawners. So that's, that's pretty good, too. I wonder how he's going to give me his four. Right, okay, <laughs> so I can get a second um, end pearl. We'll do that later on. Oh, well, in my own time, anyway. For the time being, I want to get rid of these bits and pieces. I don't know where I'm putting them. Actually, I'm putting them in this top just up here. So let's get rid of those and that and the emeralds put the emeralds up there you see me doing a bit of trading there over there so here we have the incense altar and it's a tiny little thing here like this one and I, now you can see on it i've got two more bits and pieces of information so it's telling me how much we've got for tranquility which is the top one uh, if i show you where that is these we're talking about these two here and the bottom one is just showing how much um extra we get from when we do sort of uh, cut ourselves so let's get some more bits and pieces for this because the next level up is to extend this outwards what i've been doing here is i've just been protecting the um the, <laughs> the villager that's wandering around from this fire so i put a hole down here so he can't so he can't get into the fire <laughs> i'm not sure that's a good way to do it but it'll do for now and maybe we can put a fence around it or stone wall or something like that too 
he's, he's a farming villager this one he's actually been planting crops so he's planted all these crops here so he's probably been taking food off to the off to that lot and they're probably breeding and making and get another villager oh actually we can have a look at that something else I haven't showed you press f3 in here and on the bottom left hand side of this you can see there's one villager and it's got in parentheses two which means it wants two um, villagers and it's got a reputation of minus 12 I think that's to do with the breeding but I'm not exactly sure but the breeding status as you can see is okay so let's turn that off again so it also tells you that I've got no golems no golems so no, there's no golems going to spawn it was looking at that horse over there so what we next the next thing we do oh that's where my rotting flesh is I'll put it in there in that case because it's probably a better place for it let's just do another row like this and then shift click all of this in like that now where is it what I want I would like some planks and what we need is 4 times 3 36 planks one more well that's actually now we need to divide this by 4 don't we but it only makes 4 at each time so I've got to make 12 so what we do with this is we actually craft it so we craft it like well, we need to split these into planks first, don't I? Wooden planks like this. And it makes one for each one. We make this. Now, so we've got some wooden path, which is from Blood Magic. We can do the same thing with stones as well. But let's just do the path one, first of all. And how much health have I got? Plenty of health, as it happens. Have I got another two hearts? And that's what the healthy bit is. If I look at my chest plate here, I've got healthy level 2, so that each level gives you 2 extra hearts, and I believe it can go up to 10. Dwarven Might, by the way, is mining, and Fear Strike is to do with attack. Solar Power, I'm still not quite worked out what it is, but Poison Resistance is because there's a witch and he's been throwing stuff at me, so I've got that one as well. And Experience is experience gained when killing mobs, I think. So, anyway, underneath here I've got a gravestone. I'll put a gravestone there. I made a gravestone and put it there because underneath that is a pool of lava and that's supposed to all of these things are supposed to help with your um, altar as we extend it so what we do is we break out three blocks in all directions here oh this is by the way is blood that's running down there which you get by putting a bucket into the um, into the altar with and then you get some so each one of those is like that. and I'm not sure whether running blood makes any difference but I know blood does so that's one running water is also quite an important one I believe I don't have to even break the melon and I think even though I haven't done it completed it yet I think this actually makes a difference to the altar no not yet so I've got to complete it What I do, th let's just do this. Rather than com completely completed, let's just put these blocks down here like this. Because you're supposed to have three, that's for the second tier. Let's have a look at this again now. Now you see it has got tranquility and it has got 60 plus. Let's finish it off. So that's the first level of this altar now, and this should be now tier two. So we've got fourteen ninety four tranquility. Tranquility is done by having things like trees, fire, blood, flowing water, nether wart, um, yes, soul sand, netherrack, netherrack on fire, um, and different types of crops as well also help with this process of improving the altar. So let's go and have a look at cutting ourselves. Here we've got our sacrificial dagger, and my health is fairly full. I haven't got this. Let's have a look. So I will oh, need this in here, of course. I need this seer signal in here. It's like a divination signal. This one. It's dead easy to make. Um, it's just a little hard, hard next level. So the recipe for it, 
is again it's an alchemy array so it's a site reagent with a reinforced slate so it's only really tier two and the recipe for this one is a divination signal which is from further level one two pieces of glass and one piece of glowstone with some um, will how much will do we need 64 and it uses none to make that thing so it basically doesn't use any it just needs will to be and it needs a full will that's um, crystal so how much have we got in here now we've got 1857 so let's right click this let's see how much we get of course they've got an extra two heart four hearts so it takes me right down to that one let's have a look at this one so we've now got 29,400 so that went up by about 2200 didn't it now the next level I better eat as well because need to keep my health up when I'm doing this and that should then increase as we get to this point here so the next one is we need to I've gonna basically I've got a slight problem here you can actually go up and down with these as well at least one you can go up and down at least one level and this time we're going to use stone path and the stone path made by using stone in the same way as we did the the wooden path but you only need six in this case so you don't need to have the nine that we had here for each side for each each way so let's put down keep breaking this stuff up here I got in I did complete them all oh it's of course because extra bricks because I made too many like that so now stone path let's do that one I should have some stone in one of these chests. 48 stone, and we only need uh, six per, so we need 24. So if I halve that like that, we should be able to get like this. And then we get our 24. We need to do this twice, actually. So we'll do half of those. So now, the reason we need to do it twice, because the level after that is this Warnstone bricks. You probably know this already if you if you've been playing blood magic and again we need 24 of them that's as far as I can go with this particular altar at this time because um, next one we need the archmage I think I called that something different last time as well that's just stone brick path yeah for that one I've got to move everything so, and the next level of the altar is going to come out so I'm going to have to move everything basically but that's my mistake so now let's have a look at this thing here so now we've got double that uh, and the tranquility also went up and I think I've got to basically start adding more bits and pieces to this tranquility area down here for example so let's just have a look and see what that was again so that's 1843 so if I just hoe a bit of dirt for example that should increase it I say it should but I'm, it's not something I've tested this was the first oddly enough I actually watched one of Danny and Sons uh, episodes about this because he did it in 1.8 or 1.9 Minecraft this is now 1.12 I'm playing this in and it makes a difference so sometimes that the mods have been updated or whatever let's double check that again 1843 so just right click a couple of those and then because that now becomes farmland as you can see and then have a look at this and it should it may have increased a little 1850 so it has gone up a little bit more and the so now of course we've got a nearly a full full altar from that one set of hits I'm just having a think I should probably make something um, to use up the, the blood in there so what we could of course do is I probably used some of this already up now so how much shampoo we got in there how much blood essence have we got on ourselves we've still got 1 million LP I was hoping to get less than 1 million LP so we can do that so anyway I just take some stone how much do we need let's do two and then just make some slates oops Honestly, can't get past the thing there. Let's just make two. Let's see how far this will take us. So we've got twenty-eight thousand. 
and each one of those requires 15 plus 5, 20,000, 23,000. So we should be able to make one um, demonic slate. Tell you what I'll do. Wait till this goes down two and then we'll take it out. So we should be able to go down to another 3,000 for each one, 6,000. Probably should have taken it out then. Oh no, 4,000, didn't it? Yes. So as soon as this goes to reinforce slates, we'll just remove it quickly, and then we'll take the other, just one of these out, and it can then do almost empty the altar, I think. Fact if I have this in here, it tells you the progress of that particular bit, doesn't it? So it's got to go up to four thousand, as you can see, on the left hand side at the bottom, which is nearly reached three thousand six hundred. Okay, any second now. I'll take those out, just put one of them back into here, and that should be enough then to make a demonic slate. I'm still not quite sure I understand what the number means beside the bucket. I wonder if that means the the rate at which it goes through. So this should take us down to 3,700 or thereabouts. And it says we've got 7,000, or nearly 7,000 or 15,000 to do for this particular batch. Useful information. Now it says it's 20. Oh, that must be the rate of the, um, the usage per tick of the um, blood that's going out of the altar that's what that means okay good so nearly there as you know the demonic slate gets fairly fast in terms of blood usage so let's just take one more bit of food and do ourselves the next piece of damage and have a look at the whole trick and that looks like it's almost filled it up it has almost filled it up so that was what 30 something thousand LP in this altar 33,000 or something like that there was a lot of blood for one one self-sacrifice so that's it basically next level as we put the worn the worn brick slates but I'm not going to do that now I'm going to do that another time I think and then I'll I'm, I think I'm going to have to move it out over here because then we're going to upgrade this to the to the tier five and then i think tier five might take it out to here or here and then tier six will take it around to about here so i'm hoping i've got enough space so i'll, I'll calculate it back to where i should put the incense altar somewhere down here i'll do that off camera uh for next time i reckon so the next thing i want to do it you see i've got a block of diamonds here now this is all to do with um one of the rituals the ritual of um magnetism now the ritual of magnetism is a, is an old ritual lots of these work the rituals have changed so the rituals basically you could put let's search for it first of all so let's search for the crusher for example because that's a new one ritual of the crusher is a new one so this one is using let's go down as far as i think yes raw will so this is using will okay and different types of will have different effects so I have actually got, for example, um, I've got some stuff in here. I think I've got in destructive will. Let's go back to the book. Destructive will causes blocks that are broken to the ritual to have fortune applied to it. Currently, the fortune level does not vary, and it's, it's dead level three, regardless of the will amount. So as long as we've got a little bit of um, destructive will in this chunk, it will get fortune level three when it breaks stuff. That's pretty good, I think. So we can do that now let's go back to the ritual of magnetism because that's we're going to put both those two down so the ritual of magnetism is uh it's the bread and butter of anybody enjoying quarries well we all love quarries of course because it's so slow digging around the ritual creates a revolving magnetic field and pulling up rituals from the ground beneath it placing the contents of its in its area it does not displace any rock so no gate so no gaping holes will appear in the land assuming that the land isn't made up entirely of ore 
The ritual operates once every 40 ticks at a cost of 50 LP per successful operation. The full radius of the ritual is, operates as three blocks in each cardinal direction, giving a total area of 7 by 7. So looking at that, we'll come back to this in a second, 7 by 7. So basically, this is where I was mining before, I was putting it on here. So it's going three blocks outwards. I think I might have messed that up actually. So one, two, three. So that would have been the end of it. Three. Yeah, it should have been more free, more f further out as it happens, because that was where I was thinking it was. But it's I'm wrong. So let's carry on again. Centered on the master ritual stone, because the ritual um, currently does not have any will augments. You can increase the radius effectively by placing a valuable block directly beneath the master ritual stone. So an iron block, um, the radius is then 7, gold block is 15, and diamond block is 31. So we get a 63 by 63 area. So let's set it up. In fact, I've already had this running, and I've dug up quite a lot of... Um, uh, what have I dug? I've dug up quite a lot of, um, of ore already. So let's just go along here, and that's well easy as well while I'm at it. And thinking about that, let's just check the what we've got in here. So we've got less than 100, 1 million now. So let's put our own. I think I'm not sure. This is something else I'm going to say. I think because I'm hoping this will actually also work in this altar. Yes, it is good. So we're just going to use our own blood, which is great because we're giving up plenty of it <laughs> with one hit. And 14 hearts, so it's not too bad at all. So let's set it up. So let's get the ritual of magnetism. So that's one on probably past this. It's there's a crusher and there's magnetism. So I need to put plus, uh, I've got lots of bits and pieces in here, as you can see. The reason I've got lots of bits and pieces, I've got a demon crucible. We're going to set up both rituals. First one we're going to set up is the a magnetism one because that's going to pull it up and, and the crusher one basically what that does is it will dig up the ores inside the crusher because it does a three by three range so um i'm in slightly in a bad position so there, we are, there we can get it so we can set it up fairly easily and then we can activate this weak activation crystal right click this so it's working so now it's going to start pulling up ores as you can see, in fact, I can actually jump up on this drink enough. My my jump is boosted enough to do this. So this is now going to pull up a block of three by three sets of ores and then stop because until we actually break it. So what we can then do is we can set up the ritual of the crusher. Now let's go down again. So if we put destructive will in here, everything's going to be broken, it's going to be broken with fortune three. So let's set up, let's check the chunk borders first of all by doing that. So everything is in the same chunk, no problem whatsoever. So it doesn't matter where I put it, let's put it down here and then take this destructive will I've got here. I need there's some way to be able to auto right click this into here like this. And then we should see on our aura gauge that we've got destructive will uh, in here. I'm not sure if we can get used up. We'll find out. So now we've got that, those three blocks all set up. So let's just jump up here again. If I can jump up on this one, I should be able to. Yeah, good. It's great having a big jump, actually. <laughs> Thank you very much, Living Armor. So we now put down the ritual, Master Ritual Stone in the middle of this, like this. So it's going to break this three by three area below it. And then we have to configure this. So hopefully I've got my ritual tinkerer with me. I have. Now this doesn't work until you've actually, so it just says ritual tinkerer. Until the, um, until the ritual is active. That's important to remember. So this one here, so I shift left click, it should take us to the ritual of the, the crusher. And I've got to get into the right place. I guess that being on top of this is a good place, as it is. So we can set this up that's now done so now it needs an inventory so we should be able to right click this and it still says it because it's not been activated so as soon as we activate it it's going to start to try to do stuff what it's going to do it's going to pick stuff up and throw it into my inventory 
So what I want to do is activate it and then set the chest area straight away. So we activate this as you can see. Now it sh I should be able to shift right click this. Okay, so now it needs the inventory where we want to put it. Let's put it into here. Right click and shift right click and shift right click it. So now everything's going into here I hope. No it isn't. <laughs> Did I do that wrong? Tell you what, let's go and get a second chest to be absolutely sure and turn off the, the, the chunk boundaries as well at the same time. Yep, done that. Have I got a second chest around? Nope, I haven't. Let's just make a quick chest. Oops, I want that with me. Because we can do that afterwards anyway. So as you can see, it's quite it's breaking stuff rapidly and replacing it. So how do I get up here now? <laughs> oh, that's a bit more difficult, isn't it? I don't know what I'll do. I'll just put a block down here. Nope. Try one below it. There we are. So we can. You see, it's still putting stuff like out into my inventory here so let's put the chest on top of this one and then, then it's going to capture everything in here and then I can do it more easily so shift right click this that blocks break, will break crushing uh, okay that's so I've got the information okay information I need to set the set will consume what does that do No longer uses demon will. Okay. So how do I f get it to do? It? I want it to use with demon will. Huh. <laughs> That's um, difficult. Can I left click it? Current mode define area. Okay. So let's have a look. So if right click this the chest. If I shift right click it again, I just tells you the right click it. Alright, so now we can set the chest. So we go down here and we should be able to set the chest. First block stored. Ah okay. It's too far away. It says it needs to be in a vertical range of three. So I can move the chest up somewhere else. So let's um Oh dear, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> I need another chest really. I want to put it on here. Well, I suppose I could, I've got inventory space for doing what I want. No, I haven't. Tell you what, let's make some inventory space because I'm derping around a bit here. And wood we can put over here. I don't think there's actually that much in terms of. Oh, I should keep those out of there. So I want this to use demonic destructive will and it doesn't seem that I can get it to do that again. I wonder if I have to stop it and start it again, so to speak. Tell you what, let's break this chest. I can break this chest more easily than the other one. Let's set it up again first of all before I do that. That blocks the crushing okay okay good so now we've got it ready for the right one let's put this down here on the front of this and then we can shift and right shift it and so the new range has been successfully set so everything's now going to be coming into here but it doesn't look as if it's working properly as I want it to do now how do I stop this and start it again? I suppose one way to do it is to break a block. So let's just do that. Big X. Right. So we, sh we should have the same ritual stored in here. Negative thing of course of doing this is it's um, going to use a lot after we start it again, which means we're going to use LP. So. Right, so let's put the block back again. 
so weak activation crystal now if it's still doing coal we can check whether it's working or not so it's doing iron ore at the moment I'm waiting for it to do coal or something else that's got a high um, another thing I would like to be able to do is to stop it right now so it's got 15, 16 17 so it's not doing fortune 3 as I was hoping it would do that's a bit strange um, I would need to make a lever or something let's just make a lever on this that was a big jump that's what the, the landing one does for us so I need a piece of cobblestone I haven't got must have cobblestone I've got it by the, got it by the ton there we go so I just need a stick um, and I can't find a stick I'm gonna make some I've got some wood somewhere where's that wood gone to here it is so it makes a stick I'm gonna make as well. I'll make a lever, basically. So doesn't matter. I've got eight, so that'll do fine. Let's make one lever, and then let's turn the ritual off. Right. So it's not going to be breaking stuff at the moment. So let's have a look at this again. Um, try this with this when it's turned off. I probably should have done this at the very beginning as it happens so we could set the area better. So this is the information block. That's the inventory and that's the crushing. Let's go back. Set will consumed. How do I set will consumed? This ritual no longer uses demon will. Shift doesn't actually tell me very much I wonder so it hasn't used any will from there hmm. what does it do with the will it's in here 12 tell you what have I got a hell far forge here now with this one we could make a crystal couldn't we I'm just wondering if we can make a crystal we can actually right click the ritual tinker onto this crystal to actually get it to work let's see if that works so let's put it down like that let's put the let's put some will, will back into here again and let's see if this actually works to find area information set will consumed Yeah. doesn't seem to be working I'm not sure how to do this tell you what I'll go a quick look and see if I can figure out what's going on be back in a second ah oh, the will has to be in your hot bar um, otherwise it doesn't work so if I can get back up here and we'll just well, then you can then it works I'll just have a quick look at it it does work works so let's see if this now works it's always good to do this sort of stuff even if you get it wrong so now on a shift right click in here it says this will will use de dis um, sorry. This ritual will use demon will type destructive. So now it's going to use that. Let's turn it back on again. So destructive, as we said before, is fortune three. Um, go and check this chest on nice. Let's see what's happening now. So they're going up, yeah, they're going up a lot more than one at a time. As you can see, 56, 58. That was two. So what we're waiting for is stuff like diamonds. So we should be getting fortune three on diamond type stuff. So it's going to take it takes a while. I'll tell you what, I shall wait and come back in a few minutes when we've actually got to something interesting. Well, anything interesting is going to take a while to get. We're still doing through iron and coal, so we're probably not that far down in terms of depth. But you'll also notice this crystal in front of me that I put on the ground has actually grown a second prong. Uh, and it's consuming a little bit of will. It's actually not consuming very much. I'm not sure if the will's been consumed by the crystal in front of me or by the actual process. Anyway, next time 
we shall be doing some teleportation, I reckon. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.